is temporomandibular joint. Temporomandibular joint. From its name, joint between the temporal bone and mandibular bone. The temporal mandibular joint is a synovial bilateral joint that permits the mandible to move as a unit with two functional patterns of movement, which are movement, the movement are gliding movement and hinge movement. The gliding movement mean anterior posteriorly and hinge movement, open and closed movement. These two main movements of the temporal mandibular joint. Four anatomical parts are present, are found in the TM joint. What are those? Condyler of the mandible and glenoid fossae of the temporal bone and articular disc between the temporal bone and mandible bone and the articular capsule. Articular capsule that cover all, all the whole temporal mandibular joint. So we have two hard tissue and two soft tissue. What are the hard tissue? Is the, is the condyler of the mandible and the glenoid fossae. And the articular disc and the arti articular capsule are soft tissue. Okay, you understand? Four parts of temporal mandibular joint are found. Mandibular condyle, glenoid fossa, articular disc, and the articular capsule. It is temporal mandibular joint. The mandibular condyle articulate with the glenoid fossa and the articular eminence of the temporal bone. Then the articulation with the glenoid fossa will articular eminence which are the of the temporal bone. An articular disc separate the articular surfaces so that two cavities are present. A disc rahiqsa minna temporomandibular joint ila qasmin. Ila upper part to upper part and lower compartment. The upper part between the disc and temporal bone and the lower compartment between the condyler and the disc. Yani disc rahiqsa minna temporomandibular joint ila two cavities. So you see here in this photograph, this is the, the condyler of the mandibular bone, and this is the temporal bone, and this is the temporal bone. This is the temporal mandibular joint, temporal mandibular joint. This is condyler of the mandibular bone, and this is the glenoid fossa when it dies. Of the fossa of the temporal bone. This is the temporal bone, and this is the area of the articular eminence. This is the area of the articular eminence. The mandibular condyle is the articulating surface of the mandible. It is convex in all direction. How has energy on the condyle of the mandible? The first part of the temporal mandibular joint. It is convex, يعني محدب in all directions, but wider lateral medially than anterior posteriorly. يعني العروض مات lateral medially من الجوانب إلى الوسط أعرض من anterior posteriorly. The head of the condyle composed of constellous bone covered by thin layer of compact bone. So we have a spongy bone covered by uh, compact bone. The bony trabeculae of cancellous bone is arranged in a radiating manner from the neck to the re to reach the surface of the condyle at a right angle to get maximum strength, and the bone marrow between them is of myeloid or cellular type and becomes fatty with the aged. Fibrous covering of the condyle. How the condyle mugatta fibrous tissue? Outer layer of the compact bone is covered by thick layers of fibrous tissue, composed of superficial layer and deep layer. Okay, يعني fibrous tissue ومغطى الكوندايلر هذا الجزء من المندبل متغطى بطبقتين superficial layer و deep layer superficial layer it is a network of strong collagen fibers chondrocyte and fibroblast these are the component of superficial layer what are the components of superficial layer هي عبارة عن network من collagen fibers chondrocyte cells and fibroblast cells and the deep layer composed of thin collagen fibers rich in chondroid cells during the growth period, highly in cartilage. A deep layer here, a collagen fibers rich in chondroid cells. The gro growth occurs by a position from the deepest layer of the cartilaginous plate that replaced by bone with the growth, and the growth continues till, till which age? Till 21 years of age. But sometimes remnants of cartilage may persist in old age. Cartilage حتى لو بالأعمار الكبيرة. Glenoid fossa and articular eminence. نجي على الأجزاء الثانية من temporal mandibular joint. كم من منه كم من condylar bone. هسا نجي على glenoid fossa and articular eminence. هما جزء من منه من which bone from which bone from the temporal bone. Glenoid fossa and articular eminence. أجزاء مال temporal bone. 
الكوندايلر جزء من المانديبولار بون. The glenoid fossa posteriorly limited by the sequimal tympanic fissure and anteriorly bounded by the articular eminence and the roof of it composed of thin layer compact bone separating the middle cranial fossa. يعني بالميدل هذه الفوسة شنو عندنا؟ we have compact bone compact bone اوكي؟ okay? والارتيكولار امينس اللي هو الجزء الثاني من التيمبرال بون اللي يكون ايضا التيمبرال مانديبولار جوينت كومبوست اوف سبونجي بون كفرد باي ثين لاير اوف كومباكت بون يعني كونسلس بون مغطى بالكومباكت بون بس ذا كوندرويد هايلين كارتش تيشوز كومنلي سين ان ذا امينس Fibrous layer covering the articular surface of the temporal bone. It is thin on the articular fossa and thickens شوية شوية تدخل عندنا بالposterior area, بالposterior slope of the eminence. هي thin, لكن تبدي تدخل عندنا posteriorly. The fibrous tissue are arranged in three zones. Which fibrous tissue? هذه fibrous tissue اللي covering articular surface of the temporal bone. عندنا we have inner zone, outer zone, and intermediate zone. Inner zone fibers arranged at right angles to the surface. Outer zone fibers run parallel to the bone surface. While the last one, the intermediate zone, here transitional zone, fibers are interlaced. Here is another photograph of the temporomandibular joint. This is the condylar bone. This is the condylar bone. It is a part of the mandible. This is the mandible, and this is the temporal bone. وطبعا اللي داخله هاي المانديبولار فورسة اللي هذا العظم تقريبا يستقر بها مانديبولار فورسة and this is anteriorly articular eminence articular eminence هذا البون مغطى بفايبرس لاير وايضا هنا عندنا الارتيكولار مغطى بفايبرس لاير التيمبرال بون مغطى وايضا الكوندايلر مغطى بفايبرس لاير انتر ارتيكولار ديسك وي كولد ات اولسو مينيسكاس Interarticular disc. From its name, it is the disc. So this divides the temporomandibular joint in two cavities: upper one or on two compartment, upper one and lower one. The temporomandibular disc is fibrous, avascular. Focus here, avascular, and non-innervated plate. Okay, it is oval in shape and biconcave. What mean biconcave? Biconcave means it is circular from the top to the bottom. In sagittal section. It is thin in central part and thick in the posterior borders. It attaches medial and lateral poles of the condyle by medial and lateral ligaments. And the medial and lateral ligaments connect the disc with the condyle. Okay? Anterior border divides into upper and lower lamellae that run forward. The upper lamellae fuses with the anterior slope of the articular eminence. And the lower one attached to the front of the neck of the condyle. طبعا هذا حسب الاناتومي هذا بالاناتومي فايبرز اوف ذا سوبيريور هيد اوف ذا لاترال تريجود ماسلز ار اتاش تو ذا انتيريور بوردر بوستيريور بوردر ديفايس انتو ابر اند لور لاميلي الابر لاميلي از فايبرس اند الاستيك اند ديفيوز وذ ذا كابسول اند ات از انسيرتد ان ذا سكويمو تيمبانيك فيشر اند ذا لور وان اللور لاميلي مات الديسك نوت الاستيك اند اتاش تو ذا باك اوف ذا كوندايل فإذا اللور وين تتصل؟ تتصل مع الخلفية ظهر مارك الكوندايلر بون. The disc divides the synovial space into upper larger compartment and lower smaller compartment. مثل ما قلنا يقسم هذا التي ام جوينت إلى upper و lower. ال upper طبعا هو larger, larger cavity than the lower one. اللور هو ال smaller. هذا هنا أنا diagram show you the the glenoid fossa, this is the glenoid fossa or mandibular fossa, we called it, and this is the condylar of the mandible, and this is the articular disc. هذا الarticular disc اللي هسه تكلمنا عنه. هذا اللون البلو. Articular disc. شوفوا ده يفصل ال upper compartment عن ال lower compartment. The histological structures of temporomandibular joint disc, هذا كلش يعني لنا. Please focus here. It composed of dense fibrous tissue containing citrate and tightly packed collagenous fibers with a few elastic fibers. And some chondroid cells appear with age and also chondrocyte cells may be seen. Faden huwa ibara and dense fibrous tissue. Dense fibrous tissue containing citrate and tightly packed collagenous fibers. And now we have elastic fibers and some chondroid cells. Can you say me a chondrocyte cell? 
Articulating, when I ask you about the histological features of the disc, here you have to write this, these two knots. It composed of dense fibrous tissue containing citrate and tightly backed collagenous fibers with a few elastic fibers. And histological features, articulating capsule, ligaments, and synovial membrane. We send the rest of the كملنا الكوندايلر بون وكملنا الديسك مالته نجي الى الكبسول والليجامين سينوفيال ميمبرين والدينو الفوسه كملنا هذا هو التيمبرو مانديبولو جوينت از انكلوز ان ا فايبرس كبسول ات از اتاش تو ارتيكولار تيوبركل ان فرونت ليبس اوف سكويمو تيمبانيك بوستيريالي بوردرز اوف ارتيكوليتنج دينو الفوسه ابر باوندري يصير عندنا and neck of the mandible below it is lined by synovial membrane and laterally the capsule is reinforced by temporomandibular joint ligaments يعني هذا الكبسول اللي يتصل مع كل هذه الاشياء مع الارتيكولار تيوبركل بالاماميه ان ان انتيرير اريا ومع السكويمو تيمبانيك بالخلفيه بالبوستيرير ومع الارتيكولاني دينو الفوسه بالابر باوندري ومع النيك اوف ذا مانديبل النيك اوف ذا اتصال الكوندايلر يعني هو كجزء من المانديبل اكو نيك عندنا منطقه نيك تصير منطقه ضيقه شويه فروم ذا بيلو وايضا هو مبطن بالسينوفيال ميمبرين ولاترالي الكبسول از ريينفورس باي تيمبرو مانديبولار جوينت ليجامس الليجامس اللي هي سبورت تعتبر كسبورت للتي ام جوينت. We have three types of ligament support the temporomandibular joint. Laterally, the temporomandibular ligament. This is the temporomandibular ligament. Medially, sphenomandibular ligament. Medially, sphenomandibular ligament, the second one. And the third one, from posterior area, so we the عندنا support للتي ام جوينت اللي هو stylomandibular ligament. So we have three types of ligaments. Temporomandibular ligaments, sphenomandibular ligaments, and stylomandibular ligament. Okay, you understand? The joint is supported laterally by the lateral or temporomandibular ligaments. It's supported medially by sphenomandibular ligaments, as I said before, posteriorly by the stylomandibular ligament. So three ligaments in the temporomandibular joint. طبعا هذا عندنا section you uh, You can see here, in this, this is the synovial cavity, upper part, and this is lower part, and this is the disc. This is articular disc, okay? This is articular eminence of the temporal bone, and this is the condyla of the mandibular bone. In this histological sections, you can uh, observe the articular disc, this is articular disc. This is articular zone, and then proliferative zone, Below it, there is a fibrocartilage zone and then calcified cartilage and, sub, uh, and subarticular bone. هذه هم أجزاء ما تكوندايلر بون من نايب دي. هذا كله كوندايلر بون of the mandible. Okay? And this is the articular disc. The histological structures of the capsule. طبعا هذا هم مهم. I want you to focus here. The fact that احنا درسنا histology. When I go SL and histological features, uh, you have to write these notes. The fibrous capsule consists of two layers, outer one and inner one. The outer fibrous capsule is strengthened laterally by the temporomandibular ligaments, and the inner synovial layer composed of thin connective tissue layer lined with synovial cells. These cells have two types. Type one, it will wow, show the inner synovial layer composed of thin connective tissue lined with synovial cells. Synovial cells. Synovial cells are of two types, type A and type B. Type A secretes hyaluronic acid, and type B produces a protein's rich secretion. Okay? The synovial layer has synovial pores and villi protrude from the surface into the joint cavity, and these villi lined by synovial layer of cells that line the entire capsule of both upper and lower joint spaces. And synovial membrane is very rich, very, very rich in blood supply. And contains lymphatic vessels. It will have the synovial membrane or the capsule. It will reach the nutrition element. It will reach the tendon from the medial joint, especially the disc, which is avascular. The disc is avascular. It will give nutrition. Except, of course, and lubrication as well. It will come from all of it. It will come from the synovial membrane, which is the capsule that covers the tendon from the medial joint. This is the temporal bone. 
طبعا هذه هنا يعني شنو التيمبرال بون؟ ويتش بارت اوف ذا تيمبرال بون؟ طبعا الفينا والفوسا والارتيكولار امينيس اند بيلو ذيس از ذا فايبرو كارتيلاجينس زون بروليفريتيف زون ارتيكولار زون ذيس ارتيكولار ديسك يعني هذه هنا ذيس اريا هذه ابر كومبارتمنت طلاب هذه ابر كومبارتمنت طبعا هذا كله التيمبرال بون ايضا فايبرو كارتيلاجينس بعدين بروليفريتيف زون اند ارتيكولار اريا اور زون This is the articular disc below it. Synovial fluid. It is a clear, straw-colored viscous fluid that diffuses out the rich capillary network of the synovial membrane, composed mainly of hyaluronic acid, which is highly viscous. Viscous matter lesgia also contains some free cells, mostly macrophages. How the fluid? The function of the skin. What are the functions of synovial fluid? For lubrication, طبعا أول important function إله هو lubrication. Lubricants for articular, articulating surfaces. نعرف إحنا هاي راح تصير المنطقة دائما احتكاك بون مع بون. فتحتاج أكو lubrication. من ينطي هاي lubrication? The synovial capsule. اللي منه شيء شيء يطلع عن السكريش المن سكريشن للسينوفيال fluid. Lubricant for articulating surface and second function carry nutrient to the avascular tissue of the joint. اللي ما توصل هالتغذية. And clear the tissue debris caused by normal wear and tear of the articulating surfaces. This is the articular disc and this fibroarticular surface of the condylar cartilage. Of the condylar cartilage. So then, the fibrous articular surface, the condylar or fibrous articular surface, is the temporal bone from top. And I'm going to show you about the histological section. The temporal bone. I'm going to show you the condylar cartilage. The blood supply of the temporomandibular joint, four arteries supply the joint, superficial temporal and anterior tympanic, or ascending pharyngeal with deep auricular. Okay, superficial temporal, deep auricular, anterior tympanic, and ascending pharyngeal. These are four arteries that supply the temporomandibular joint, and the branches from the four arteries approach the joint and penetrate the capsule. Innervation by nerve, uh, nerve supply meningeal, nerve supply by branches of the mandibular nerve, the main nerve, the temporomandibular joint, mandibular nerve, auriculotemporal nerve, mesenteric nerve, and the last one, deep temporal nerves. So we have also four nerves supply the temporomandibular joint, and we have four arteries supply the temporomandibular joint. These branches supply all surfaces of the head of the condyle, temporomandibular fossa, capsule, and part of the disc. But during age changes, what we have? Will condyle has age changes? Condyle become more flattened, and fibrous capsule become thicker. Osteoporosis of underlying bone, and thinning or absence of cartilaginous zone. With this, what we have in this uh, in aged people, we have become thinner. The disc is very And show hyalinization and chondroid changes, synovial fluid, become fibrotic with thick basement membrane. Thank you, dear students, for your listening. بس ان شاء الله سجلت المحاضره وان شاء الله اني بعثت لكم اياها بالكلاس روم